Welcome to Hello Self. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, coach, and author, Patricia Leonard. Well, hello, and thank you for tuning in to my Hello Self podcast today. It's a podcast focused on turning your cans into cans and your dreams into plans. I am your host, Patricia Leonard, and am I excited for the guest that I have today. You're going to learn so much and meet someone who's done almost everything. He's a podcaster, he's a blogger, he's an entrepreneur, he's a a father, and it's not in that order. I think I might have missed something. And he's from South Dakota. And he's here today on Zoom (laughs) today to share a little bit of his story. You know, I believe that storytelling and the person who's lived the story is the best way to engage one human being to another human being. So I'm going to briefly talk a little bit about Joshua Kangley. Thank you, Joshua, for being here. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you. I'm excited to be on the show. Great. And so I'm going to just say a few things about Josh that I know, and then I'm going to turn it over to him to share his story the way he wants to. And I'm sure you're going to learn a lot. I want to tell you a little bit about how Josh and I met. I was out in South Dakota on a consulting project and the hotel I was staying in, Josh was working there. And so every day when I would come back from work, I would always stop. If he were was there that day, I would always stop and we would have a conversation. And we just became great friends. And I was always, since I am a career coach and a speaker, I'm always saying, what are your goals? What are you going to do next? What's happening in your life? Uh, Is this what you do? No, I've got a business of my own, but I do this part-time too. So I always was inquiring about what was next. And we became super, super friends. Well, about... I don't know, a few years later, that was 2015. So in 2020, he contacted me about a book that he was thinking about writing. And he said, would you like to contribute a chapter in there or a segment in there? And I said, absolutely. So I want to let you know just a little bit about his Mind Shift book. You can get it on Amazon, but he'll tell you all about that later. But it's called Mind Shift, and his first one was Mind Shift 2020, and his most recent um, was this year, 2022. But I wanted to let you know a little note that he's got on the front of his book, because I think this is really important, and it's going to set you up to really pay attention to his story today. He calls it the Guiding Light Series. And it's a collection of stories, which we believe in stories, wit and wisdom. And it's there to motivate, inspire, and encourage your, the reader's, success. So without further ado, I'm going to turn this over to Josh to tell you a little bit about who he is, whatever he wants his story to be. So Joshua, thank you again. And Here you go. It's your turn. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Patricia. You know, it's so nice to be here with you. I'm just over here so excited because you talked a little bit about um, how we met and it's such a big part of um, my story, this whole transformation, this whole kind of trajectory of my life. You're really a big part of it. And that's the amazing part because you just never know the impact you can have on somebody. So um, true you know, it's so true. Like you were there for, you know, maybe three months on your convention, but in that little short span of time, like we were really able to connect. And I just, I just got so inspired by you because you just had that energy about you. Uh, um, So like 
right away. I remember uh, part of the story too. Like I remember the the first time I met you was when I picked you up from the airport. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> man, you come in. You come in the uh, the van. I get you in the the shuttle van to the to the to the hotel, and you just come in like just a blazing amount of energy. And I'm like, wow, you know. And it was so cool. Right. So right from the start, right from the airport to the hotel, and you know, every every time I got to see you as you would come in and out for the day um it, it was just really cool because again you have that energy you have that just that energy you have you know it's uh, it, it's and here's the other part too i was at that exact moment i was going through something that put me into sort of the um the mindset of being aware and, and on the outlook for people like you and so i was it was just like um it was like just the right time you know so it was like i was in that mindset to be open mm -hmm. um and and you just had that energy that you know like like you said you're a motivational speaker and you're you are doing all the things that you're doing coaching and helping other people in their careers and in their lives so um you definitely made an impact on mine and so it's just so cool that's the coolest part of it because you just never know who you can impact and then um yeah full circle here we are again and I know. you know since it's been exciting. pretty pretty amazing. yes it's very exciting and i'm so happy to be on your show here with you and uh you know and, and to see all the things that you're doing so it's just so cool to to revisit and kind of circle back and talk about it because so many people out there you know you just you just never know the impact you can have and also what you can learn from from someone else like what you right. can learn from someone else and what you could actually impact someone in their life so what tell me a little bit about you what made you so, start because yeah. so you're doing this same kind of work actually so yeah, we, you yeah. in 2020 you stepped out you already had your own business but you so just give me a little bit of those transitions in your life and what woke <laughs> you up to each of them specifically like writing a book or leaving the hotel i i don't care yeah. what yeah so i mean yeah so i've always been a curious person i've always mm -hmm. thought like like you said yourself you know we can learn so much by other people's stories mm -hmm. i've always been fascinated by what makes people tick we grew up pretty poor so I, we grew up pretty poor i um, didn't have mm -hmm. much and so i was always curious like okay what is happening where like how come others are are poor and some are not like is there what's the you know what are some correlations and not just just poor like that but just other things too always fascinated by yes. other people's stories what motivates them what yes. gets them going how are they how are they successful like what are they doing in their lives um so i've always just, has been super um curious about that and so um which you know i wrote i wrote the book so here's the thing so after i met you here we go. So after I met you, boom, I meet Patricia. Um, you know, my mind's blown. I'm like, wow. Okay, so this is really super inspiring. I just started, um, it, starting getting back to, to that. I'm like, to my purpose. And um, I think that's the important piece of this conversation here because, um, yeah, 2017, I wrote the book, The Seven Principles of Success. And I, I wrote that because I wanted to to write something down where I could share that with people to find that momentum that I had had just found. I wanted to, to share that with people like, right. you know, so there's seven things that I did and uh, that got me into that alignment in that, you know, so um, I believe that if you're if you're open to it and you're receptive to it, you just never know what can come into your life, who can step into your life. And I've talked about you so many times. Um, I'm on Twitter a lot in, in different Twitter spaces there. They have Twitter audio. Um, and so I've talked, I've mentioned your name so many times, like you don't even know, like I've always mentioned, um, <laughs> I met this woman named Patricia who, who, who made this huge impact on my life. So, um, yeah, you inspired actually to write the, the book in 2017, the seven principles of success. And then from there it expanded onto the podcast. So I'm like, how do I keep this going? How do I keep the conversation going? Um, so I transitioned into the podcast and then, yes. um, after that, I'm like, okay, well, let's, let's do this. Let's get some other stories, compile them into a book um, as well. And that's where the, the Guiding Light series, the Mind Shift book came in. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's a, com uh, a collection of different authors like yourself, like you've been in the, the first one and you've actually contributed to the, the, this year's one too. So um, just different people from different places, backgrounds, experiences, 
but they have a story to tell and something mm-hmm. something that I think can others can learn from. And uh, it's all in one book for someone else's um, source, source of inform- information and inspiration. And you know, that is true. I think you said something that is really key there. Those stories that people share, there is a part of, I always say that in everybody's story, there is a part of us in there. I mean, that's why we go to movies. That's why we read books. That's Mm. our experience networking and socializing is to get out there and connect with others. And I think, um, I, I know recently I just saw a, a show, a one man show, a theatrical production, and it was Rhapsody in Black. It was about a black man's life of growing up. He was telling his story. And mm-hmm. as soon as he got done, I went, I, I get you, I get you. There were so uh-huh. many similarities in that story. And I think that's why the work that you do by you telling your story and in your books and other sharing, you're really doing just what you say, inspiring and motivating others. Well, if they can do that, you always said you were curious. So if they can do that, I can do it. You know, yeah. uh, uh, you said something about your uh, your book, Seven Principles. Um, do you rem- Can you tell us what some of those principles are that you think really have helped you? Yeah. Yeah, so the first one is purpose. And that's where I started with purposes because that's when in 2017, I figured it out. I'm like, and again, I was, you know, so you never know when you're going to find it out. You never know. It's never too late, you know. Um, but for me, yeah, 2017, I'm like, okay, here's my purpose. And and uh, it's, it's I really wanted to help other people. I really wanted to yeah. um, let people know, like, like you just said, if others can do it, I can do it. And trust me, if I can do it, anybody can do Same it. Same thing here. <laughs> you know, and, if, and and that's just the truth of it, because there are bits and pieces of us in all of us. We're so much more alike yes. than, we, than we know. Yes, we're individual and we have our different experiences, but we're so much alike. And, um, you know, I just, I, I want to bring us to bring people together in these books and through everything that I do is just, mm-hmm. you know, bring them together. But so the first one I, I wrote about is purpose because that's, yes. I started with purpose because it was the last thing that I, the piece to my puzzle. And it was, I wanted to help other people. I wanted to let people know, like, it's totally possible. Um, you know, you probably don't even know this, but um, let's, let's go back a little further. So I, you know, we, I came from a very poor background um, I was adopted. I, I still don't know who my real father is. Yeah. Um, and uh, so, but, 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 you know, that said, um, I was raised by a mother who loved me, uh, mm-hmm. who, who took me in as her mother and loved me, gave me all her love. And, um, and that's what I had. I had love, you know, yes. didn't have anything else. Um, but in, in, in a little bit uh, in my high school years, I got into quite a bit of trouble. Um, so, I, I got into, I, w- I was in the wrong circles. Yeah. I was doing the wrong things, um, totally on the wrong path. And uh, so um, that's why I say like, if I can do this, anyone can do this. Yep. Um, and you know, Josh, I don't know any of us who haven't said, oh my gosh, I wish I wouldn't have done this at some point in our life. And it's usually in our teenage years. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so definitely. And uh, so there's things that I did to correct that. And, mm-hmm. and I didn't even know I was doing it at the time. But other principles like positivity, having yes. a positive mindset, you know, and I always tell people like, look, having a positive mindset doesn't mean that we don't see the negative and we don't acknowledge the hard days, the tough times. It's just that our attitude, having a positive attitude enables us to get through it, um, navigate through it, problem solve it. It helps us get through all that junk, yes. you know? So we don't, we're not ignorant to it. It's just we, our mindset, having the positive mindset allows us to look at things in, in, a, in a better way. Absolutely. Um, at least from my experience. So positivity, um, passion is another one. The, so the big three are purpose, for me anyways, purpose, positivity, and passion. And passion and passion is the, the driver, the fuel. That, that's like that, what fuels you. Um, it's your engine, you know, is your, is your passion. And, and, um, so having passion for life, 
just having passion for life and, and doing different things like that. Um, and, you know, uh, I then, think you're right that passion, when you lose your passion for something, it's time to move on. When you say it's kind of like a wake up call, a hello self moment. I'm not mm -hmm. happy anymore. This is not a, yeah, it doesn't feel like the passion, the passion that I had earlier. So I think that's what motivates a lot of people to move on sometimes. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely having that. And, and that's actually, actually, it's funny you mentioned that because um, before I got at that job at the hotel where I met you, uh, me and my wife had our own business and, and, and uh, we started our own business. Mm -hmm. I just didn't have passion for it anymore. I just wasn't, we got in a comfort zone. I didn't have any passion for it. It, it was, uh, it wasn't fulfilling to me. Uh, we were doing good and, and it was doing great and we loved our customers and everything, Yes. but I need to do something else. And so I was able to be vulnerable, put myself out there, get a part-time job at this hotel. Um, and it's funny things are just different changes like that in your in your life can you just never know and, it, and that's where I met you again so um yeah definitely having passion definitely makes makes uh, a lot of difference absolutely yeah. I see that passion has driven you a lot of times if you just like you said you and your wife had a business but you didn't have the passion for it anymore so you said okay I'm mm. going to try something else and I think that's important some people will be afraid to step out and they'll stay even when they've lost their passion and they mm. are not happy and and they think this is all I can have. I have some clients like that. And I said, no, 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 you, you can do more. Yeah, I really like those top three. I think that is fabulous. So, okay, so I won't in, interrupt anymore so you can go on <laughs> with your story. <laughs> um, no, so, and then kind of fast forward to that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, I want to talk about today, like you just brought up something that is so relevant to me in this whole uh, hello self, what you're doing, this mm -hmm. is all very relevant in my life right now, because um, through all of that, I, I was also so okay, so for the last five years, I had worked my way up into this, the career that I've that I've had for the last five years, and I mm -hmm. was doing pretty good. I made it pretty far. I was using all those things that I talked about. I was really putting my word, uh, my, my talk to my walk. And, um, you know, I was doing really good. I mean, I was making a lot of money. I was, uh, had this career. I just lost the passion, just lost the passion for it completely. And, um, I wasn't able to do it anymore. I was just not able to do it anymore because it came out of cost. So, so the, all, everything comes at a cost. Well, the cost for me was time with my, with my kids. I have two young girls. Yes. Um, time with my family, uh, my health actually, again, started going so bad. So um, again, I had to really look at myself and say, and make a very hard decision. And it was the, so hard because in the times that we're living in now where things still seem a bit uncertain, you know, and th you know, in the yeah. economy, you know, people are, you know, all this stuff we hear about all the time. But I just made the decision to part ways with that, with the company I was working for. And, um, again I'm so so now i'm it's exciting time of my life right now because um i'm back in the almost that same moment where i met you and it's kind of funny here we are talking again isn't um, that interesting yeah yeah so it's very exciting in my life because again i'm taking a risk i'm going for it um i'm so i'm i, I tell everybody you know what i'm doing now is i'm spending time with my kids i'm being a father a, that i haven't been in five years mm -hmm. and I will, you know, some might say, well, what about the money? I can't believe you just gave all that up. Well, again, you have to ask yourself what, at what cost, you know, at what cost, where do you draw the line, you know, for your happiness, for your, your, your sanity, for your creative part of you, for your passion, like where, you know, for me, that's so important. And I've lost that these last five years. So I'm really at an exciting point where that's coming back into full circle. Um, I'm being just a father again, that's number, priority number one. And I'm really going after the things that I've that I've started, which is the books, the podcast, um, mm -hmm. that whole mission. I'm I'm getting back into that again. Mm -hmm. So, looking at a bigger impact than just that one day, that one place you're working. Now you're looking to reach a lot bigger audience, and I think that is a real um, a goal that makes a lot of sense because we're a society in major transition. 
Mm. And a lot of people um, will listen to your podcast today and hear, how does he get the bravery to step out? But I think the, the first thing that happens is you're right. We have this hello self moment. I'm not happy. Mm -hmm. And then you're, you just said it, we have to choose. And I have this saying that I always like to use, life is a gift. The way we wrap it is our choice. And mm -hmm. you're wrapping your uh, choice into a future. But you know, I think unless we, uh, this is something that I've watched and I've watched you do this and you're just describing it, but I've watched my own self do it. I think that once we make a commitment, I, I'm not happy, I'm gonna do something else. It took me two years to finally decide what I was going to do. I just kept saying, what am I supposed to do next? What is my real purpose? Mm -hmm. And finally, I, I said it. And then all of a sudden, I got this unusual uh, knowing, if you will, about hello self. And I just took it and run with it. It's just amazing. And you're right. If If you ask and listen, I think uh, what you're saying really resonates with me. And I bet it resonates with a lot of our audience too, because since we're in major transition, people are looking for, how can I step out? Well, mm -hmm. there are no for sure answers, but if you step out, it almost always, I mean, you're a proof of that. Something will pop up. Do you have any thoughts about what you might do next? Or are you just kind of writing yeah, you know, so I mean, so um, luckily I was able to save some some money. So I'm writing on that for right now. Yes. And again, and I'm just, I'm not, I'm not in such a relief off my shoulders. I'm like, it's, it was so scary to do. But yes. once you do it, you realize, oh, wow, um, I can do this. Like, wow, like I am a human being. I, I have capabilities. Like, I don't need to be just so, um, and, 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 and it was an intense job. It was a job I loved. I was good at it, but it was intense and it was all consuming. I mean, it was yes. um, all day, every day, 24 seven, practically on call. It was, it was a lot. So mm -hmm. um, you have to make those decisions. And, and again, it, you know, I love the job. I love the people I worked with the team and everything. So it has nothing to do with, with the job, the company. And so, and there's still people who are doing amazing things with them just for me in my life where I am right now, I just needed to, 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 uh, um, take a step back. I need to step away from that and really right. focus on some priorities that I haven't been been doing. And because of that, it's made my life out of balance. It really, really did make make me out of balance. And so mm -hmm. now I'm focused on my children, my kids, my family, um, and uh, really happiness and creativity and, and focusing on the things that I started off doing back in 2017. And that's these the the books, the podcasts, the, mm -hmm. the blogs now too. So everything that I'm doing is to, again, just um, bring our stories together, um, inspire, and um, yeah, we're in a we're in a transition for sure. And so yes. one of the things I like to do, I want to do too, is always bring the good news, you know, because we hear a lot of bad news oh, all the time. Yes. And so yes. to balance that out is to just shine a light on good news, shine a light on people like you, people doing amazing things, just shine a light on them, and and um, hopefully that inspires other people. And I think what you're doing by getting getting this message out about who you are and what you are and how your uh, Hello Self moments have caused a trajectory in your life as well as your career, you're yeah. creating now what I call a tribe of people, uh, if you will, that are going to be saying, if Josh can do it, then I'm going to try it. And then they get braver. When we think we're on our own, we, it's a little more frightening than when we see somebody else did it. And that's why this podcast is so important today is mm. because at the end, I wanna make sure that they know how to reach you and reach out to if they are looking for just the nudge to move forward. And you know, um, I was listening to a Joel Osteen uh, show one time, and I remember he said, ask the question, ask the question. He said, you probably won't get the answer until you say, what is my purpose? What is my passion? 
And you may not get the answer at that moment, but that's ba basically what I did is I just kept asking that question mm -hmm. and, but yet not getting, oh, some days I did get sad, but just keeping the motivation that, no, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to make it work. And the next thing you know, it just starts happening, doesn't it? It sure does. Yeah. And, the, and, and you, it's so true. And the next, the next, one of the principles that I talk about is patience. So Yes. Having patience, you know, it's it will it, it will come. It will come into alignment. The answers will come. Um, it may it may seem it may, you know you might want them now. It may not be coming right now. Well, some might it might come clear. Yes. But some it might not. Especially if you've been in the fog for a long time and really not sure. But it'll come. It'll come around. Um, just have patience. You know, definitely have patience. And one thing I learned that it's important about patience is because sometimes when you're in this moment. Um, of you're open, you're on your mission, you're in alignment, you're, you're you, you have a clear set of goals, yes. point vision, like you say, and you're, you're you're going toward that target, and you think all these opportunities you think are oh I need to do that, I need to do that, I need to do that. You're, you're so excited, you want to take all these opportunities, but mm -hmm. you got to be very careful and definitely have patience um, because you might get the, <laughs> the wrong things because you'll get attracted. To, people will get attracted to you. You know the energy and the vibes. Yes. Um, uh, both good intentions and bad intentions. And so yes. you really got to be, you know, now more than ever, you got to filter that and make sure you do your due diligence and you don't have to say yes to everything. You don't have to, you know, overextend yourself. You know, I, I would say, ask yourself, does this, does it fall in alignment with what my mission is? Is, does this make sense to me? Am I getting any red flags? Yes. You know, and then go forward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you're beginning, and I like what you said earlier, you began to look at what's important in your life. Yes, money is important. We know that's important. But if it takes away these precious moments with our family, and yeah. there's no time for anything else in our life, and our health is getting uh, impacted by it, and then yeah. maybe, just maybe, those things aren't worth it. So now what you're stepping out with is more clarity about what I do, what I really want, and why I want it. Simon Sinek says, know your why. Mm -hmm. And that's, it. I want to be with my children. I want to be in a position that I can help others. I want to expand my tribe of connections and contributions. And so... When we do have this appointment, Simon Sinek says, then our why will help us get through. And that's exactly what you're saying. You know, some things yes. were bigger and it causes, and we have to be careful with our choices, you said, because we can get fear can set in. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Fear, fear, you know, fear is the number one thing. I think that we all, I think fear is the number one thing. I think that, that, um, um that holds people back from from their full potential and their their living life because we get so scared yes you know, we get a career we think oh my gosh i i don't want to lose this job and 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 look like you said money is important we all it, we all need it we all need to have you know um these goals and dreams and and, and jobs and careers and there's nothing wrong with that no absolutely um, not uh, but you're right. If it gets to a point where, so for me, it got to that point where I had to really make some decisions. And so, mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. hey, is, is this really good for my kids? Is this really good for me? Um, do I need to do this? You know, what's going on here? So I had to yes. really ask those questions and I had to involve my wife in the conversation too, because, you know, of course, fear yes. can come in on her side because then that can cause uneasiness and fear yes. if, 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 you know, there's a major life change like that. So it, trust me, it took a lot of conversation. It took a lot of talk uh, back and forth with each other to make sure that this is what we want to do as yes. a family. This is what we're going to do. These are our goals. Um, and so we just kind of made it, made it, made it a goal. And so this is what we're going to do. We're going to make it work. And, you know, I think you're so right. Once you have that figured out um, it's exciting and it carries yes. you through. And that's why I'm so excited right now because um like you said, like when you have these hello self moments, you know, where and you do this, you, I just know good things are coming. I, yes. I'm so excited for what's to come. I really am. Oh, now see, that's another thing that I love. <laughs> you got the confirmation and 
in Hello Self or conversations with self, it doesn't matter about Hello, but conversations with self cannot be negative conversations because the subconscious takes all that and it builds fear. Mm. But you just said something. I'm really excited. When you tell yourself that, your inner self, then all of a sudden... It, Excitement really does come. It really mm -hmm. does come. And now I love that you've got a family, your children and your wife supporting you. Do you see how the tribe is forming? It's yes. a nucleus. If yes. you think of Stephen Covey's The Circle of Influence, it all begins in that middle circle, which mm. is me, which is you, your wife and your children. Mm. And then you can expand out and influence others those people influence others do you see the road that you're on josh this is fabulous absolutely yeah and yeah exactly and and here's the other thing too like um there's no way i could have influenced others if i'm in an imbalance so uh, you know i have to be balanced i'm at that point i believe now and i'm i'm just ready and like you said i'm so excited to to just uh keep going with this i mean yes um yeah absolutely okay do you have anything else you want to say before we have a little wrap here? Wrap it up. Um, well, um, just thank you for having me on the show. I'm so excited. I mean, um, I'm just, you, you know how much a fan I am of yours. And so I'm just so thankful for being on your show, talking with your audience and uh, hopefully getting people inspired and, um, you know, well, really loving Hello. Yeah. Yeah. and the same thing with you. I admired you from the day I met you. You've just got that presence about you. So what I'd like for you to do now, if you don't have anything else that you want to tell or from your story, I'd like you to let people know what you're doing in the future, uh, how they can reach you, anything you want to tell our listeners, just wrap it, just put it in that closing and then I'll just close the podcast out. So whatever you want to say, this is your time. Market awesome. Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm super excited because I just started a blog, guidinglights.org. And yeah. that's my new blog site. Um, I post up some good uh, informational resource articles, blog articles. And then I uh, post daily good news from around the country that's happening. So again, we hear a lot of bad news. Mm -hmm. I just want to balance that out um, with some good news that you may have missed in the headlines. So daily, there's some um, article headlines that you can find there. Um, that's the guidinglights.org. Also super excited about um, a new season of um, the Mind Shift Show, my podcast coming soon. I'm still in the works though, so we're still recording and things like that, but um, that's going to be coming out soon. And then, um, well, like you were, um, again, so thankful for you to be a part of it, but the the Guiding Light books, um, that's you know, going to be another one out next year, the Mind Shift 2023 is um, looking to be in the work. So if there's any of your audience out there listening in who, um, you know, are thinking about becoming an author, want to want to share their story, definitely reach out to me. I'd love to have you in the book. Um, you can email me at josh at hello. My name is josh.com. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you can, you can find these books um, on Amazon. So just look up Joshua Kingley author. You can find the books on Amazon. Okay, thank you. This has been fabulous. And I'm sure our audience has been able to positivity, uh, passion, patience. Oh, that's three P's, isn't it? Thank <laughs> you so much yeah. for being here today. And for my audience, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll have more of these episodes to help you encourage your own runway success. And again, I am Patricia Leonard. I can be reached at patricialeonard.net. And I have a podcast coming out very soon called Hello Self, and there will be an announcement about that. And so, Josh, thank you. And thanks to everyone for tuning in. God thank bless you. you. And remember this. Keep dreaming. Thank you for joining Hello Self today. And may it offer insight and inspire you to stay on your runway to success. Like, share, and subscribe. And remember this, keep dreaming.